Hey there everyone, my name is Atesh and welcome to the video series where we are going to learn how to make your own cocoa pods. Now, I will walk you through what are the details, what are the prerequisites of that and everything that you really want to know about pushing your own cocoa pods and what are the benefits of that. But before that, I would like to take a moment and talk about Learn Code Online. So in case you want to watch the series on just one go uh, and in a proper structured manner along with the community discussion support and everything, feel free to just visit learncodeonline.in. This course and this particular series is available for free there as well, but it's easier for me to answer questions at just one place instead of just hunting for the questions on YouTube. But feel free, that's completely your choice. Now moving forward, uh, first and foremost, what are these Cocoa Pods? So Cocoa Pods, if I basically had to say in very pure words, I would just simply say it's a code written by somebody else that you can use in your project and there's gonna be no issue. It's really amazing and if you are an iOS developer, you already know that Cocoa Pods are really an important part of development, whether that's an LMO fire, whether that's any other thing for parsing JSON, YouTube APIs, or or maybe uh, some parse or anything that all that you want to use. Uh, Cocoa Pods is really important. And the what we'll be doing by the end of this series is uh, you'll be able to know all the insights of the Cocoa Pods. You'll be able to push a demo Cocoa Pod onto the actual Cocoa Pod website. You'll be able to search that and use that in your uh, document or project, anything where you want. And one of the reasons why you should be focusing on this is because as an iOS developer, it's really important that you should prove yourself that yes, I'm a good developer. And apart from publishing these apps, CocoaPod is another good way. You can write tons of codes uh, in a CocoaPod and push that as a CocoaPod open source library, one. Uh, you are uh, contributing in the open source, that is a good point and a plus sign in your uh, profile, so that's a good thing as well. Second is, in case maybe you want to later on use that exact same code as a generalized, you can use, otherwise, uh, tons of other programmer community is going to get benefits from your written code and they surely will appreciate that. So uh, this is the all, all the thing that we really wanted to discuss about the Cocoa Pods. In the upcoming videos, I'll walk you through what that. Again, the prerequisite is you should be familiar with the SIF and uh, Swift programming language. I hope everybody are on the same page, you know, iOS development. And you should have built up like one or two apps uh, in the iOS. I'm not saying you should have published app. Uh, simple like hello world or maybe clicking some buttons, some text up here, that's that's kind of a basic stuff. I won't be walking you through that, hey, this is a view controller file and you have to drag and drop things into it. That would be like too much basic. I have already covered up that in my courses already. So I won't be touching that, but it's gonna be fairly basic, very basic. So I'll walk you through everything, including creating accounts, pushing the Cocoa Pods, pulling that back and everything that you want. So enough of the talk about that. Let's move on to the next video and learn how to publish your own Cocoa Pods.